So let us answer the questions that we had. Uh, the one first one was explain why a dialysis tube is curved. Explain why a dialysis tube is curved. Now the coiling of the dialysis tube is to enable the transfer of the materials which are in the fluid into the tube and as well as those which are uh, uh, water also diffusing uh, out of um, the, the tube. So basically it uh, enables more uh, a concentrated solution to be able to uh, some of the materials to diffuse into the tube such as uh, urea so that they can go into the tube so basically the coiling of the dialysis tube it could be something which is uh, kind of coiled that is to 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 enable the the fluids uh, to, to increase to, to diffuse very easily so we can say the uh, reason for why the dialysis tube is uh, called that is to increase to increase increase surface area surface area okay to increase surface area for diffusion there could be many other reasons but uh, the best reason reason we can come up with is this one uh, to increase surface area for diffusion okay for easy movement of more uh, molecules the urea uh, salts and sugar and they can easily uh, diffuse so that would be the best explanation you can come up with right now there could be many others but uh, that is what we have to increase our surface area it could be the reason why the dialysis tube is curved the other reason, uh, the other question was okay, that was we were talking about why the temperature, why the temperature in the dialysis fluid and the blood should be equal. Why is it that we should have uh, the, uh, the equal temperature? So. The temperature, normal body temperature in a person is 30, 37 degrees Celsius. That is the normal body temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. Now, you want the tube also to have the same temperature uh, as well as uh, the fluid to have the same temperature as that of the blood so remember this temperature is the temperature at which your blood is at uh, this is the normal body temperature so you cannot introduce an, a fluid which has got a different temperature into a person okay you can see the complications so this might cause complications such as hypotension or cardiovascular because you might uh, it might lead to so the first reason we can say um, why is to keep the body temperature uh, of the patient uh, constant okay to keep that is to keep or to maintain a constant body temperature for the patient to maintain and say to maintain a constant body temperature for the person for the patient for the patient that could be the reason for 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 the temperature in the dialysis fluid being and the blood should uh, being equal that is so that the body temperature of the patient can be maintained and to avoid uh, avoid of complications such as hypo hypotension or cardio cardiovascular uh, Right, or cardio cardiovascular problems. That is cardiovascular vascular cardiovascular complications. Okay, so this could be the main uh, reasons why the temperature should be kept constant to maintain a constant uh, body temperature for the patient, as well as to avoid uh, complications such as hypotension or a cardio or cardio cardiovascular. Okay, so uh, the next one was. So for the next one, we had explain the 
talking about the waste in nitrogenous waste in plants i uh, explain some nitrogenous waste in plants so plants also remove uh, nitro uh, excrete nitrogenous waste so the first the common one the most common one which is uh, if we can list it is a, a a latex or latex this is uh the one which plants re uh, excrete or remove from 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 their 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 the um the parts or the, the body parts they the the plants have to remove the the, the waste that is the latex or the latex and then we have other things like the some of the ex nitrogenous waste are deposited uh, via oils we have plants which produce these oils okay so we have got oils so we have oils and then we also have uh, plants producing uh, rubber okay nitrogenous waste through uh, rubber and then number four we have through things like tannins okay so th these are the ways in which plants produce the nitro nitrogenous nitrogenous waste so these are the things which plants produce the nitrogenous waste um, latex oil rubber and tannins so this is where they and i think for the other question i don't know if it was regulation or it was meant to say regulation in homeostasis so it's just, that is just maintenance of a constant body environment we're talking about uh, homeostasis just feeling about uh, how the body maintains a constant body uh, internal environment in the body so that is regulation of homeostasis homeostasis um, so that is it